Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Camp Rock co-stars Demi Lovato and Allison Stoner have revealed how they ended their feud for their upcoming documentary Child Star. Demi, 31, landed her breakthrough role on Barney Friends at the age of 8 and became a Disney Channel personality shortly afterward. As she grew into an adult celebrity, she battled a host of personal demons, including bulimia, drug abuse, and bipolar disorder. Now she is making her directorial debut with Child Star, interviewing names like Drew Barrymore, Jojo Siwa, Christina Ricci, and more about growing up famous. She even arranged an on-camera conversation with Allison, but the pair had to settle a long-standing rift first, they told The Hollywood Reporter. The interview was accompanied by a sultry photo shoot starring Demi, who bared her cleavage on the cover of the magazine. Pulling her best smoldering femme fatale stare, Demi, who uses both she and they pronouns, modeled a string of glamorous, flesh-flashing outfits. One of her most eye-catching looks was a pinstripe trouser suit that she wore with no blouse, exposing her black bra to the camera. In the interview, she and Allison looked back on the stumbling blocks they encountered in their relationship and how they eventually reconciled. Demi was 15 and Allison was 14 when Camp Rock first aired on the Disney Channel in 2008, starring the two of them alongside the Jonas Brothers. Two years later, they reunited for Camp Rock 2, the final jam, but on that project, Allison had a strained experience working with Demi. Demi was struggling with drugs and her body image, and the result was prickly behavior that caused Allison to walk on eggshells around her. There was definitely a lot of fear of a blow-up, Allison remarked during their on-camera interview for the documentary. When they went on a live tour to support Camp Rock 2, matters did not improve between them, and they subsequently spent years not speaking to each other. While working on her new documentary, however, Demi reached out to Allison, who is non-binary and has declared a preference for they pronouns. Demi had to assure Allison that she had changed over the years before her former co-star would agree to be interviewed for the project. She and Allison sat down for an off-camera conversation that the latter described as healing before the taped interview took place. Allison had harbored other misgivings about the project as well, namely that it would fall under the umbrella of sensationalized E. True Hollywood stories that then actually perpetuated what I call the toddler to train wreck pipeline. Demi was able to allay those worries, and she and Allison sat down for a soul-bearing conversation about the travails of child stardom. Allison and Demi swapped their reactions to the sight of their pictures being digitally altered in magazines when they were still underage. They also remembered having to be studiously on brand as squeaky clean Disney Channel personalities as opposed to the teenagers on Nickelodeon whom Demi was jealous of because they were allowed to be slightly cheekier. Demi explained that her traumatic experience of child stardom had led to her troublesome attitude during the making of Camp Rock 2. I think about people in the wardrobe department on my TV show because I'd go in there in bad moods all the time, and I worry about guest stars that came on or the other actors or the people during Camp Rock 2, she said. And it's easy to excuse that behavior because I was so young and in so much pain, but I'm really remorseful and that's a guilt that stays with you forever. Demi's latest remarks on her film come after Jojo Siwa, Drew Barrymore, Kenan Thompson, and Raven Simone were revealed as interview guests for Child Star. It also emerged that the documentary will premiere on September 17th on Hulu, and it will be approximately an hour and a half long. By the time Camp Rock aired, Demi, then 15, was already a Disney Channel star on the network sitcom As the Bell Rings, which ran from 2007 to 2008. As she grew older, she transitioned into pop stardom, and her personal problems increasingly began surfacing into the spotlight. Demi has bared her soul in the past about experimenting with drugs beginning in her preteen years, after she was in an accident and was prescribed opioids. She stole her father's beer and her mother's Xanax, and she ultimately tea.